join me as I try to attempt, or re-attempt, the Loch Shield Circuit. The Loch Shield Circuit is a 70 km paddle, starting in the village of Glenfinnan and ending in Loch Eilort. We are now heading down the remote and beautifully scenic Loch Shield. We will pass St Finnan's Chapel on the ancient island burial ground of Alien Fiannan, before heading down the River Shield and reaching the saltwater Loch Moidart. There we will paddle past Castle Chow and around the Shoner Islands, which are only passable near high tide. Then we will head out to sea and around the headland and into the Loch Eilort, before finally reaching the village of Loch Eilort. Um, this one's a little bit different to last time. Um, we're doing it with a group of us as we're trying to raise money for cancer research. Uh, so joining me on this group is Rick from Rick T Outdoor Adventures. You got James, Rick T's son. It's Ant from Ant Survive the Night. I'm Charlie Hanson. Sarge from the Real Oak Brand Channel. Jack Turner. Kyle Adair from uh, Adair to Adventure. Jay. Hi. Matty from Magpie Woods. Team Mascot. Like her. Stick around for the next five days, four nights, uh, trying to complete this circuit. Right, so we just stopped for our lunch. Uh, it's good to meet some of the guys. I've never met anybody on this trip um, before today, so that's good. A few of them have got YouTube channels as well, some really good ones. So um, I'll put the links uh, below to their YouTube channels and they're all worth checking out. But yeah, the sun is coming out now and uh, it's turned out to be a beautiful day. It's actually getting hot now, the sun's come out, I've had to take my jumper off. Um, I'm not complaining, but it wasn't meant to be like this. It's just one after the other of these beautiful little streams that keep on uh, flowing into the loch. Right, so why are we doing this? We're doing this purely to raise money for cancer research. Believe you me, there is no enjoyment happening here whatsoever. Um, so if you could follow the link below and uh, give a little, or give a lot, whatever you can afford, or nothing if you can't, obviously, uh, and donate a little bit to cancer research, um, we would all be very, very grateful. Yeah, but they said they said there was um, there were yellow flags out here yeah, no. where not to land. As long as there's no yellow flags. So we've got a good portion down the lock now, and uh, it's getting on a little bit, and we are uh, looking for somewhere to camp. The water level is a lot higher than when last time I did it, so a lot of the beaches uh, have disappeared, but 
Um, it was a nice little bit up here on the headland. And I think we're going to head up to there and um, hopefully we'll find a good spot on there for the night. Definitely much better when the wind does it for you. <laughs> Right, we've arrived in camp, um, or where we're going to go, we're a little bit tight on space and um, the best option really, or the only option for me really, is to try and get in between um, these two oak trees. I don't really want to camp underneath one because they, they've all got bits dropping off them, so I'm going to have to level a little bit of ground there. And, uh, yeah, but look at that view. Right, so I'm in camp, I'm all set up, I've got some gorgeous views uh, down Lockshire or up Lockshire where we've come from. Um, yeah, just been for a swim, it was pretty chilly, I didn't, wasn't in there very long. <laughs> but yeah, now um, I don't know what everyone else is going to do and find out what's going on and uh, cook up some food because I'm starving. Alright, so I just had to get the fire going as quickly as possible, I didn't realise how late it was. It's, uh, it's like 8 o'clock, no wonder I'm so hungry. I'm going to cook up a little bit of salmon uh, with some mixed veg. Bobby from Harry Potter, 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 Bobby from
slightly blackened. Right, so I'm just about to break camp, uh, left in the trace as always. I'm sure it's the same for everybody else here as well. And uh, yeah, I had some pancakes this morning, nice bit of coffee, and uh, yeah, it's time to hit the water. Right, so whilst we wait for a few others to pack down, uh, a few of us are just gonna head over to the other side of the lock. Uh, there's a lovely little spot just ahead of us. And it looks like it could have great fish potential. So, still no luck. Are we just leaving? Uh, what I kind of think is being the main body of uh, Loch Shiel. Uh, we'll just come up here, we'll go around the corner, and we'll come across um, the ancient burial ground and uh, St. Finnan's Chapel on Alien Fernan. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, it's probably completely wrong. But yeah, didn't get time stopping it last time. Hopefully this time we'll have a little stop and a little look round. That'll be good. All right, so here we go. It's the island with the chapel on it. And then just go on there and have a little explore. Wait for the others to catch up because I've kind of left them behind a little bit. As you can see, there's not a great deal left of the chapel. Well, I could definitely think of worse places to be buried. <laughs> There's loads and loads of this pig nut as well. I mean, it'd be illegal to dig it up here anyway, but uh, I'd be worried I'd dig up some old bones. <laughs> So we just stopped for a nice bit of lunch uh, opposite the chapel on the other side of the lock and uh, yeah now we're gonna head off this bit's quite open and grasslandy 
not quite as dramatic as uh, what we've just had. And then uh, I think it's about five or so kilometers and we should reach the, uh, the, the River Shield. Why is it always a headwind every time? Guys, I remember this but it was a right slog last time. Uh, he's so exposed. It doesn't get as bad as what I did then. So I guess that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. All right, it's quite windy. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so we all got hit by the wind quite hard coming down here. And we've been split off into like three groups. Uh, one group being me on my own. <laughs> so I started to cut across the lock to the left-hand side because it bends around to the left. People were just getting blown, I think, um, to the other side. But they've all stopped over the other side over there now. And then uh, Rick is headed off. He's gone round the corner, so he's on his way. Uh, we've got two paddling, so it does make it things a little less complicated. So I've just stopped in now to see what they're going to do. I was kind of thinking maybe they might decide that they're going to camp there for the night, you know? In some ways, it makes sense, you know? We could set up early and then hit the uh, River Shield early, and then the, the rapid would be completely washed out, which would be quite, wouldn't be a bad shout. We've got plenty of time. Um, but I can't sit here forever because I'm going to get cold just standing in the breeze so I need to make a decision what I'm going to do really it looks like two of them are setting off actually I think what I may do is just head over to the opposite side of where I am now it's a bit of a a bit of a paddle against the wind although it probably doesn't look very far that's what I do head over there because there's no way I'm going to cut straight across this lock or sideways onto the wind anyway at least if I do decide to backtrack to them um, I'll have the wind behind me, so keep me warm as well paddling here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. See, so this is a much better area to chill. Not in the wind, so that's good. Got a nice little shelf. I could even camp here if I wanted to, um, if they decide to camp there, but I'll give them a little while. I think if they camp there, I'll probably just head over because it'll probably take me, it take half an hour to get over to where they are with the wind uh, sort of behind me. Oh, it's actually like a little sun trap here. <laughs> Feels like it laying on the beach. So much better than being in that wind. Oh, I'm in danger of falling asleep though. <laughs> Right, so they've set off. Um, so I guess my little relaxation period is over. Let's get rid of this, some of this first, eh? Right, expose myself to the elements again. that bit's over with. <laughs> Alright, we're probably only about 20 minutes from the river, so let's do it.
Yummy. Right, good morning. Had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Um, we stopped as soon as we got off that rapid, really. Everyone was pretty knackered, uh, was hungry, a little bit cold, we had a bit of a headwind, and it was all getting pretty tired, so we didn't do a lot of filming last night. Um, yeah, but we just woke up. I'm gonna get the coffee on the go, and the porridge on the go. And uh, yeah, we'll go out towards the sea, regroup with the others, because we were split into two groups, and then uh, assess the situation. Right, so we're all packed down, um, left no trace as always, had our breakfast, had some porridge, a uh, nice bit of coffee and uh, we're now having to portage the canoes um, down to the lock because the tide's gone out quite far and then we're going to try and get around uh, this little island here, I know it's going to be shallow so it's probably going to be quite difficult but hopefully we'll uh, regroup with the others and uh, yeah, see you from there. to this beautiful little channel uh, but we need to wait for the tide to come in because at the moment uh, there's no water in it <laughs> Guys, 
windy. This is about as much wind as I reckon I can actually move forward in, you know? Blimey. My little girl can walk faster than this. Anyone do any fishing on the way up? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this is absolutely beautiful. This is probably the best little bit of beach I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> Makes all the effort of getting here worth it. up over here uh, go uh, the age them and see what we're gonna do I reckon they're probably gonna want to sit up there for the night but I have to come back here and have a swim or something the water's just clear I can see like 12 foot down right to the bottom right so just gonna switch the other time out nice this little beachy areas so I think we're all gonna go over there and have a little swim <laughs> Perfect. Now we head over to here now. Um, it's getting on a little bit. I'll have something to eat. Uh, yeah, so we'll catch up with you in a bit.
me for tonight. I've got my garlic and hoisin. Uh, stir fry. We've got a uh, pineapple turnover cake. Yeah. So yeah, just see how that's uh, turned out. That's amazing. Right, so we're all up super early this morning. Um, all up before five, I think. And uh, just heading out now. Super quick back away. Midges were doing my head in a bit this morning. <laughs> Had two ticks as well on my arm. Um, and I'm just gonna head out over here. And hopefully, the sea is as calm as what it is in here. Right, well, we're out in the open water. We are around, just going around the headland now, and it's looking all right. It looks like we might make it. <laughs> yeah, I just passed the other group. They made it a little bit further than us yesterday. I'm a little bit sad to be leaving that beach in that location though. Um, it was pretty stunning. We saw a pair of otters last night. I didn't capture them, unfortunately, on my camera. But uh, yeah, what a place to live. <laughs> my next life, I want to be an otter living on that little beach, eating mussels. So many jellyfish here right now. a beautiful view. Looks like there's some weather coming out. So we skipped breakfast this morning just so we can get on the water as soon as possible. And now we're round. We're gonna have a bit of a cook up. Right, so we just rocked up on the beach there and uh, start cooking. We had a good look around before we got on there, but we just spotted some eggs as soon as we st started setting up. So we've just uh, got off the beach as quickly as we can, really. Give uh, the oyster catcher eggs, give them a chance to come back and continue incubating. Right, let's try again. Right, extended lunch done, back out on the water. Uh, I've just rigged my rod up um, with some mackerel feathers, so we'll see if we have any luck with that. Right, so as we pass this little island here, uh, we enter Loch Eilort for real, it's the home straight. <laughs> so it looks like we've made it. Um, it's been such an epic journey. Uh, you know, we've had, uh, I've met, met a great bunch of guys, you know, on this journey. They've really made it quite special. Um, but we've had epic scenery as well. We've had good weather, we've had bad weather. 
Um, some awesome campsites, some nice swims, <laughs> a jellyfish on the head, who could ask for more? <laughs> um, so yeah, the reason or part of the reason doing this trip was for cancer research. So if you haven't donated any money, please do go to the description or the comments and follow the link and you're not too late to donate. And um, yeah, also a special big uh, thank you to Rixie Outdoors for inviting me on this adventure. If you haven't seen his YouTube channel, please go over there and check out his YouTube channel. It's really, really good. Plus, uh, same goes for Ant, for Ant Survive the Night. Check out his YouTube channel and also uh, Simon's YouTube channel as well, Rail Band. So I'll put all the, all the uh, links in the description. Um, yeah, it's been such a good journey, you know? And uh, yeah, I guess uh, as we approach the finish line, I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, yeah, until the next time, I'll see you later. Right, hopefully you enjoyed that and the old cheesy ending, uh, but now it's competition time. Um, in case you don't know, the previous video, I did a charity giveaway for LK35, and I said I was gonna announce the winner at the end of this video, so here I am. Right, so I've got an app here that'll pick a, a random comment from uh, that previous video. So I just need to enter the URL, which is that one there, search. There it is, so we've had 21, so you've got a one in 21 chance of uh, winning here. Right, let's go on here. The winner is David Thompson. Right, so well done, David. There's an LK35 on its way to you soon. And uh, thank you to everybody who donated. It is very much appreciated. And until the next video.